Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. In this session, we are diving into the world of nanobiotechnology and its impact on the cancer resource. First of all, let's see what is nanobiotechnology. In a very basic and layman term, nanobiotechnology is a branch of science that combines biology, engineering and nanotechnology to create tiny tools and devices that can be used to detect, diagnose and treat cancer. These tools and devices are known as nano devices and they work on a nanoscale. But why is working on this scale is so important? Well, by working at such a small scale, nanobiotechnology enables researchers to target cancer cells specifically without damaging the healthy cells. That is really important for the targeted therapies and targeted treatment in case of cancer. So how does nanobiotechnology work in cancer research? Well, there are many ways by which nanobiotechnology is being used to improve cancer research and treatment. Here are just few examples. Nanobiotechnology can help us in the early detection. Nanobiotechnology is being used to develop new methods of early cancer detection such as blood tests and imaging techniques which are more sensitive and are less invasive than your conventional methods. Nanobiotechnology can be used to deliver drugs. So they can be utilized for targeted drug delivery. For example, nano devices can be used to deliver drug directly to the cancer cell and increases the efficacy of the treatment and reducing the side effects associated with chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Additionally, nanobiotechnology improves imaging. Nanobiotechnology is being used to create new imaging techniques such as nanosensors that are capable of detecting cancer cells with the great accuracy and specificity. It has impact in the areas of tumor identification. Nanobiotechnology is being used to develop new methods of identifying and characterizing tumors which can improve the diagnosis and also provide guided treatment decisions. Nanobiotechnology is being used to create personalized medicines and plans for the patient based on their unique genetic profile and specific characteristic of the cancer. It is also utilized to enhance the radiation therapy. Nano devices are being developed to enhance the effectiveness of the radiation therapy by directing the energy of radiation precisely at the cancer cells and reducing the damage of the healthy tissue. It can also improve the surgical outcome. Nanobiotechnology is being used to develop tools and techniques for cancer surgery which, which can improve accuracy, speed and outcomes. It also has impact in reducing the side effects by targeting the cancer cells specifically. Nanobiotechnology reduces the side effects associated with traditional cancer treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Nanobiotechnology is being used to develop methods of early cancer intervention which can improve the outcome and reduces the risk of the recurrence and finally it can also enhance the understanding of cancer. Nanobiotechnology is providing new insight into the underlying mechanism of cancer which can lead to new treatment and improved outcome for the patients. And there are many other trending exciting stuff happening in this sector. Nanobiotechnology has potential to completely change the way we approach cancer and significantly improve the patient outcome. So what's next for nanobiotechnology and cancer research? Well, the sky is the limit. There's so much more to discover and so much more that we can do to help those affected by cancer. We are just scratching the surface of what's possible with nanobiotechnology and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I hope you have enjoyed this video into nanobiotechnology and its impact on cancer research. If you are interested in learning more about this exciting field, be sure to check out our official website. And if you are interested in training and collaboration, you can approach us. Thank you so much.